Hi, my name is Jim Herman. I'm the Minister Counselor for Consular Affairs at the U.S. Embassy in New Delhi. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the good news story that is visa processing at the U.S. Mission in India for Indian applicants. Every year at the U.S. Mission, we process about 700,000 visa applications for Indians. Of that 700,000, we issue the vast majority of those visa applications. In the news of late has been a story about some of the refusals, roughly about 8,000 of that 700,000 that we deny. I'd like to help you understand a little bit about that 700,000 and 8,000 visas that we process each year. So what happens is roughly 700, 350,000 of the 700,000 are for tourists, and the vast majority of those visas are issued. For the remainder, the visas are divided amongst employment visas, student visas, religious worker visas, and a few other types of visa categories. And of those, again, we issue the vast majority of those visas. For employment visas, we have two different broad categories which many Indians use to go to the United States. We have H-1 visas, which India receives 65% of the worldwide total of those visas. And those are generally used for high-tech, high-skilled workers to go to the United States to work. L visas are used by companies to send their employees to the United States to work. These are intra-company transfers. In this case, there are three types of those visas that we issue. One is for senior executives, one is for mid-level managers, and another category largely includes workers for specialized knowledge, those who have specialized knowledge and need to go to the United States to work on projects and things like that. What we've done in the past to help companies understand this is we do a lot of outreach with these companies to explain what standards are used for H, for Ls, for specialized knowledge. And we encourage them, if the applicants don't qualify for those visas, to apply in the right category. And so under the L visas, specialized knowledge, we've had some issues in helping people understand what that means in one component of a specialized knowledge. We issue a lot of visas to product companies. We don't have any problem with that area. We issue a lot of visas to consultants. Companies seem to understand that. The only area that seems to be a little bit confusing is in specialized knowledge for IT workers. Again, we've done a lot of work to try to explain what the standard is for companies and to explain to them that rather than apply for an L visa, perhaps they should apply for a different type of visa which may better fit the applicant. In most cases, the best type of visa might be an H visa. Again, that's a visa for high-tech, high-skilled workers. So what, is, what I've tried to explain today is how we go from 700,000 visa applicants, 350,000 tourist visas, 350,000 other types of visas, and we focus a little bit on about 8,000 refusals a year. I hope you understand, and thank you very much for watching.